Hello and welcome back to the second stitch video of this Badabadoo um, embroidery kit. As on the previous video, I am using two strands of thread with a knot in the end. Um, and on this video, I'm going to show you a stitch that I used on this flower and this flower here. So starting with this flower, we're going to work a split stitch. Um, as you can guess from the name, we are going to split our stitches with the needle. So you have to start off with one stitch, either forwards or backwards. And then we're going to split each stitch as we go. You can do this either by coming up through the stitch like this. And then working forwards again or you can come forward leaving a stitch length come up through the fabric and then split the previous stitch as you come back through it like that i find this method easier um, and it's the one i use most often for both methods produce the same effect so you're just going to work around the flower, around each petal, splitting each stitch as you go. not going to show you too much of this because obviously it's very self-explanatory and you don't necessarily want to sit and watch me stitch for hours. But what I will show you is um, a demonstration of how I completed this section. So as you can see here, I split stitch not just around the um, the outside edges but I continued the lines up to the flower center that's an option for you if you want to do that go ahead if you don't do your own thing so I'm going to move this thread out of the way again as you can see I need to finish off some of these stitches but while I'm on a demonstration roll I'm going with it um, and I'm going to choose my next color um, and just thread my needle and get that ready. And tie a knot in the end. And we're ready to go. Now for these um, shapes, this will include these shapes too. And for several of the other flowers, I've used detached chain stitch. Um, again, if you don't like detached chains, no problem. Do something you prefer. Um, but I'm just going to demonstrate how you do those. So we're going to come up um, at the point. These sort of form teardrops. So we're coming up at the point of the teardrop. And then we're going to make a bit of a loop with the thread and come back down very close and not going through your knot. We'll try that again. Very close to where you came up, but not down your knot, because that will mess everything up. And you need to keep this loop here with your fingers while you bring your needle up at the bottom loop of your petal, because this is where the thread will lay. Pull your needle through. And that holds your loop in place. If you pull this too tight, it will tighten up your chain. And because these are nice, big, soft loops, we want to keep them um, as soft as possible. So pull them gently. And when you're happy with the chain loop as it lies on your fabric, you're going to pop your needle down on the outside of the thread. 
and that secures the chain in place. So we'll do one more, another one and you can see, so we come up at the top, loop it round, come back down very close, holding your loop, bring your needle up where you want the loop to lie, carefully pull that through until it lies where you want it to and then bring your needle back down on the outside of the thread and those are detached chains and I think they work really nicely um, for these shapes in this design but there are always lots of other options as well do a couple more for you And you'll just continue working your way either up or down the flower in exactly the same way. And you can do as many of these as you like with this stitch or none at all. Um, hopefully that's been useful. Um, please feel free to come back and join me for the next video. Thank you. Bye.